In this lecture, we will go over the design for the game that we will build in this section of the course. Let's open up the design document that is attached to this lecture as a course resource. The game we will be building is a 2D Batman action video game. Next comes the game description. This is the summary for the premise of our game. Justice League members Batman, Green Arrow, and Flash learn that Darkseid has come to Gotham City. Fearing that he will destroy everyone and everything in his path, they attack him. Darkseid easily kills Green Arrow and then Flash, leaving Batman angry and ready for vengeance. The gameplay starts out with Batman squaring off against Darkseid for the fate of Gotham City. Our game will be a one-player game. There will be Batman, Green Arrow, Flash, and Darkseid in this game, but only Batman will be a playable character. The genre for this game is action or fighting. Of course, the game will be programmed in Python using the Turtle Graphics module. This game will take place in Gotham City. The game is going to feature an animated start screen, which will showcase Batman standing over the dead bodies of allies Flash and Green Arrow, with Darkseid laughing above them. The start button will appear and will pulse, a common design technique used to draw attention to the button and encourage players to click it. Once the user clicks the start button, an animated intro sequence will be played. Each frame of the animation is shown here in the design doc. The first sequence of images shows Batman conferring with Green Arrow and Flash in the Batcave. They all agree that Darkseid is a powerful adversary that needs to be stopped. The animation then jumps to somewhere in Gotham City, where Darkseid appears. An arrow flies in from the left, and Darkseid turns and eviscerates it using his laser beam vision. The arrow melts. Then Green Arrow jumps in and attempts to punch Darkseid. Before the punch lands, Darkseid disappears and then reappears behind Green Arrow. As our hero turns to see his foe, Darkseid strikes and kills him with a crushing blow to the ribs. He then takes a moment to laugh over Green Arrow's body, reveling in his power. Flash, enraged, zooms in from the right side of the screen. He runs back and forth and assumes a fighting stance to confront Darkseid. Since Flash is too fast for Darkseid to hit physically, he uses his laser vision to melt the Flash on the spot before the Flash even realizes what happened. That wraps up the animated cutscene. Naturally, the player, playing Batman, will want to avenge their fallen comrades. The level will be assembled, and Batman will square off against Darkseid. At this point, the player can move Batman and use attacks. This is where the gameplay portion of the game starts. As you can see by this screenshot, Batman and Darkseid start out with full green health bars and will fight until one of their health bars reaches zero. The next page shows the controls for our Batman character. We can move Batman left and right using the left and right arrow keys. To jump, we use the up arrow. The supported attacks are punch and kick, which can be performed using the Z and X keys respectively. Now that we understand the premise and design for the game, we can begin developing it. In the next lecture, we will program the start screen for our game.